We wouldn't be holding this forum today if it wasn't for the Minister for Women, Fiona Richardson. Minister, thank you for including us as part of your 16-day campaign, which has at its core a call for gender equity. We're very grateful for your support of our Women in Football Network, which you in fact launched earlier this year as part of the Matildas World Cup campaign. This time, surrounded by orange soccer balls to mark our support of your campaign, may I ask you to kick us off today by speaking to your vision for the future of women in football. And in truth, sport, Victoria's religion, is one of the key weapons at our disposal to change attitudes in the way we live. It's an incredibly powerful medium for reaching people and for setting an example for the rest of the community. Through the leadership of, of organisations here, here today, we can start to see a shift. And I really want to commend you for the work that you're doing in this area. You are truly leading each and every one of us. And yesterday was another big moment for the Victorian Government. We launched the first, the very first, gender equality consultation paper to begin the process of delivering a gender equality strategy for Victoria. Can you believe it? We actually don't have a gender equality strategy in Victoria. And at the launch, uh, I had the pleasure of listening to Cyan Tae, Telstra Victorian Businesswoman of the Year, uh, and she spoke about a range of things, but in particular she said that unconscious bias is like a death from a thousand cuts. One too many rejections, one too many missed opportunities, one too many times being overlooked. It wears down your resolve, whittles away your confidence, and the subtle nature of it just makes it worse. But we're changing that today. But can I urge you, as you write your strategy, think big. And most importantly, set targets and deadlines. There are a great many strategies and plans that don't have deadlines and don't have targets that are simply gathering dust. But strategies and plans that have targets and deadlines are much, much harder to ignore, especially when they are regularly publicised and even more so when promotion within an organisation is dependent on meeting those targets. It always sharpens up people's resolve. Now, I don't understand football, uh, but I certainly understand governments. And allow me to make this commitment to you today. I will take whatever you decide today, your report and your findings with its targets and its deadlines, and I will fight for it. I will fight for its realisation in government because I do understand how, it is, how important it is to you here and to every other woman in Victoria. And finally, I leave you with this saying. It's something that's always inspired me in the work that I do, and I hope it provides you some inspiration today. Be the kind of woman that when your feet hit the floor in the morning, the devil says, oh crap, she's up. 